Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos. Welcome back to Cloudpunk. So, last time we met Evelyn, we spoke to Tico again, we delivered a part for, for Joe the racer. Now we've got a little decision to make. Uh, I've moved my head. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna just miss out on the places that appear as we drive through them. Uh, there's multiple objectives, so I can't really get out of the way of them. So we need to make a choice whether we sell it for some uh, for some money, or if we take it back to Emmett so that Joe can then still carry on racing. I think I'm going to take it to Emmett, you know, I don't want to... I don't see why he shouldn't keep on racing, even if it's illegal and maybe he's a bit older and he's not doing as good anymore, but it's not our place, really. That must be underneath. Oh, oh cop sec flyer. We need this to get into the place near our building. They're trying to recruit for for their informant program. Grey text on a dark grey background. Inspiring. Hello there. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? Pork miso. Thanks for this. Y'all yeah, come back. You hear? Let's uh, grab whatever's on the other side, and then we'll head over to Emmett. A battery? Use battery. Oh yeah, uranium. It picks up one of those already. I'm liking, I'm really liking the, how the AI and uh, Android and stuff. Damn couple, is the, uh, is the lift talking to us? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just grab this item from the other side. And then uh, we'll hop in the car. Nice, another punch card. We've got 11 now. Um, oh, we need to go back up to get over there, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Think we can get back over this way? Yeah. Uh, just such a awesome looking city, right? Right, let's uh, let's take this back to Emmett. I'm not gonna betray Joe just for some uh, just for some limbs, right? the finish line. Oh, this isn't the one we want to go to. We want to go to the uh, blue one for Emmett. Nearly m messed that up then. Okay, I've finally seen the fuel gauge. I hadn't even noticed it before. I don't know where the damage gauge is, if there is one. Hey there, Emmett. Hi, Emmett. Joe said to give this to you. Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize money. 
so he won't need to retire. Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. Yeah, exactly. It's just the fact that we were going to sell it makes it seem kind of seedy, right? I found out more about Cora. Oh, nice. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Which is what? Another job? No, if you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need <laughs> a coffee first. Cheers to that, Rania. All right. Let's get some coffee. Turning circles just a bit stiff sometimes. Racking up the damage here. Some coffee in Old Town, yeah? I guess this is the only problem the occasional loading screen, but it's fair enough. I don't know where the damage meter is for the car or whether that affects our fuel maybe. Our steel bumpers. Hey control. Hey driver 14 FC, you can't be bumping that hover around the city like that. You're gonna have to hit a repair station. If the damage gets worse, I can't get you out of the standard Cloudpunk Hava damage penalty fine. Fine. Uh, is there a garage close? Yeah, just over to the right. Let's go fix that. We should have enough money. I'll be a bit more careful. It's this speed booster. repair this thing. Ooh. I can afford both. Yellow tracer. Let's fix the damages. Let's get the bumpers. Yeah, we'll see. Cheers, buddy. We are completely broke. We are broke as a joke. Hey, 14 FC, we did a status check on your vehicle performance and it's running clean as a spire sky. Look after your Hava, she'll look after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. Where do we park? over here from the other side must be so we can only park over here so. I'm 
gonna have to find our way over there. There's a corpse sack agent here. Clerk. Hey there, buddy. No? Oh, come on now. <laughs> Alright. Dynamite Simpson. Hey there, Dynamite. Hey, come here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much okay. as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages, we're farmers, and we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Really? This will be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. Huh. She went from cultural appropriation to selling it really oh no. quick. Your mother's flower. Yeah. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. Oh, so she lied. I used it as a bookmark. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. Fair enough then. We're a con artist. I like it. A uh, remote detonator? This looks like some sort of remote detonator. We should take this to the authorities. Who are the authorities in this city? Is there only corpse sec? Well, we need to take it somewhere safe. I mean, we can't just press the button, right? I mean, right? I don't, I don't think we can, so... Can I press it? Okay, this should... Hey there, Halbo. Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh... Was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office, a debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Take care of yourself, Haldo. 
Take some food. Oh. Oh, candy bar. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, I spent so many years telling kids not to eat these. Sorry, it's all I've got. Oh, don't be sorry. I love them. Thank you, Rania. I hope you get back on your feet. Me too. Me too. Okay. All right. So that we're giving him some food. Took his um. So we can't talk to him now. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got another little quest marker. So bring the suspicious item to Corpsec. We'll do that when we go past an agent. I believe this should take us to the other side. Bingo. There's the coffee guy. Let's talk to Danya first, though. Hey there, Danya. Excuse me, I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Oh, the tape. Music? No, not at yeah. all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't <laughs> believe it. So it's an antique. Oh yes, this was played on a Spectrum home computer, <laughs> 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work, Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. <laughs> it's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first, and nope, still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads, or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now, but we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So, this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory, and the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. We believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? Mm. We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? <laughs> Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment, but the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye wow. out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch <laughs> people in the street together. Maybe another time. Oh. Just the limbs are fine. Okay. We get a quest marker for that. Bastille. That place looks fun. Computer chip, memory chip. Yeah. Let's just go grab this last item and then we'll go and get some coffee. Hey, punch card. Yeah, we're getting pretty close now. Yeah, I don't think that those games had a morality lesson in them maybe you can find morality stuff like that in anything if, if you impart your view on it like that i suppose neo oh coffee guy isn't the quest hey there coffee guy i saw you looking at me from over there i was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone i'm from out of town and this coffee is like hova oil <laughs> Well, I was going to say it's below average. 
but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. <laughs> so you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? No. I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? We could... Yes, some coffee. Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Shooting? I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. Ronnie has got so much really sass. Targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and avo? Oh. From the new hipster place uptown. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. Yeah. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. All right. Get me mushroom pizza, man. That's what I'd prefer. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. <laughs> what can I get you? Okay. Oh, every time. Hot chocolate, nippuccino, coffee. I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll go for a nippuccino. That's pretty sweet. Let's have a, let's have a double. That's good. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Okay, we're all caffeined up. Uh, we can we can take this suspicious item to court sec. Hey, Camus, we found out more about Hello. Is Cora. that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. <laughs> is it okay? That's it's fine. fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it. It's just it's a bit dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep. Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your uh -oh. identity was compromised. That's bad. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Mm. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Korra then? It's like a day to day usage of Korra in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Korra knows where it all went. There what are two knows, more data points knows? for Korra? Yes, one from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. 
another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Korra is the last of the 12 founders. Hmm. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Uh. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Korra is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Korra, computer-operated recycling agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? <sighs> More Very or interesting. less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh... Donut coffee? That's not really... Oh, no. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. Oh, vertical repulsor. Interesting. All right. Yeah, very interesting. So, like, there were, like, 12 founding members, 12 founding AI members, and Cora's the only one left. Um, yeah, very interesting. And it's used, it's like, it's not used in terms of like a god or a deity like I thought, it's, it's in terms of like fate or luck. But it kind of sounds like they're using it where you'd say Lord knows or God knows. So it's like a weird mix. But I'd still say it has elements of, of, uh, of deorific, elements of sounding like a deity, right? Hello there. We found a suspicious item. Hi. I, uh, found this. I thought I should hand it in to the authorities. Or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know. I found it. I think it might be... Give it to me. Now. Yes, I was just going to. I came to you. Is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. What does this button do? No idea. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Hmm, nothing happened. Did you just press that? I literally just said... Nothing happened again. Stop uh -oh. pressing the button. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine. I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait. Something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. What does it say? I can't read it. Hmm. Let me see. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. Oh. <laughs> but I swear, wants to. that's what it says. All right, then. Well... I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. What idiot. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? No reason. Press the button twice. You fool. All right. Air control. Driver 14 FC, are you out of your hava? Certainly I am. I was on a break. There are no breaks for me huh. or for you. Have you seen the vids? No. Why? More accidents in Sector 21. 
No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Hmm. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... Yeah. It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. Fessahetic, Control. So, um... Yeah, there's something weird going on at Control. They've been hacked, they've been taken over, they're taking orders from someone new for all these drivers to be disappearing, or Corpse X cracking down and on them or something. Uh, the, the Corpse X agent has reappeared on my map, so I'm just going to talk to him again. Hello, you fool. Oh, no, he's, we can't talk to him. He only pressed it twice before he asked his supervisor what to do, what to do with it. Subdermal face obfuscation technology. Better driver in real life, I promise. Fulcrum sector. Uh, I think we should park here, right? I think there's a level below us. Yeah, that's where the NPC is. Gill's belongings. I don't know if the merchants are going to be NPCs occasionally. What, some more fluid? Cooling? Yeah. And, alright, we need to go down below, so I'll just pick up this item if it is in fact over here. Is that, that's a punch card. Oh no, it's not. Motherboard. Hey there, buddy. Here's what I can offer you today. Street style jacket. I don't know what it'll do for us. Thanks. Kind of a lot of money, so. I look forward to seeing you again. I'll save up my money for upgrading my uh, my car. Boy, reckon. Man, so I just keep staring at the city, guys. It's just beautiful. I mean, I'm waiting to play Cyberpunk, but I played, uh, I did play a bit of the, uh, like, you know, a few hours of the prologue. Just to see how it ran. It actually ran perfectly fine on my computer, but um, I'm still waiting for it. So, you know, I've just had a little run around the, the, the prologue area, just staring at the, the thing. And it's just same sort of feeling, you know, it's just mesmerizing looking at a city so vast. I look forward to playing it in, I don't know, 
maybe May or June, I think I'm going to play Cyberpunk. Because they've, 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 they've laid out a plan for like major patches over this month and next month, but, you know, I'll wait for better, some more optimization and a hand, a human hand. This appears to be, oh no, this is someone's hand. They're not supposed to just throw a biological limb in the garbage and it appears to be wearing a wedding ring too. Should I keep this? I guess someone might want it back. That is eerie. Cherry pie? One slice, please. Oh, wait. Are those real cherries? Is that illegal? Well, they ain't holograms, lady. Sarcasm. Yeah, but where would you get real cherries in Novalis? Lots of places. Oh, orchards up in the spire, All growing right. beds down in the vents, uh, one of those labs that grow cultured retro fruit. I'm not talking hypothetically here. Where did you get those cherries? Wherever you like, lady. I find the best way to enjoy the flavor comes from tasting with your imagination. And I find the best way to avoid food poisoning is to know where my cherries come from. So much sass, I Rania. Swear, these taste exactly like cherries. That is not a normal thing to say about actual cherries. You just, want to just slice eat cherries. or not? Yes. N no. I can't decide. Have you even tasted real cherries before? Back home, they were my favorite. The Eastern Peninsula? Yeah. Well, you'll love this pie. A genuine slice of home. What do you say? Yeah. No, actually, I'm good. Oh. Suit yourself, country girl. I'm going to talk to all vendors from now on, guys, because we've got, we got some nice, interesting conversation from that. So, all merchants, all vendors, I will talk to when we go past the Alira Casino. Hey, Falcon it. The merchant's up above. Hey, you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Why not? Here's 100 limbs. Oh. No. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. <laughs> Hi, Norman. Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, <laughs> He's not a hologram. He didn't answer me. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. <laughs> they are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. Oh, they're, what are they're not real. Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. Yeah. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Ah, where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, uh, until the big dust storms hit back in the year of the dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. What? Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad people don't spend money. All right, take care of yourself, Norman. Hey, Gil. You got a package for me? Are you the delivery person? Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. The limbs, calm, holocrons, augments, everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. What? I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Oh, are you, you going, sure about you're this? going to space? Yeah, a chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? 
Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay then. Good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. So is he going into space? So we need to deliver it to his family. Hey, Control. Hey, Ronnie, uh, you met that guy going on the Ascension? Is he really going through with it? He says the Ascension takes him to the Spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. He's committing then suicide. What? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Yeah. Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? No. Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we dropped them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Chemis. Yeah, I but... I have to think. Yeah, the, the kid's gonna die up there, so... We should give his package to his family. J where'd you go, Jimmy? Jimmy go up on the... on the... on the elevator? For God's sakes. We need to go up anyway, right? Oh, there's a few items we should grab. From over yonder. There's a punch card. We're getting there, Evelyn. Hello there. You from the east, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Okay. That's the same as before. Thanks. You folks from the East are good with me, but no sec. Yeah, that's the same dialogue as the other dealer, so some of them will repeat. There's Jimmy. Hey! <laughs> Get back here, Jimbo. Hey, got a minute? Sure, you got a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? This guy looks it's like an uh, addict. less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. You know, I don't really have a minute. A gambling of it. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? You gotta know, everyone does. <laughs> they they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. I always say, if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure I was. You was listening. You're a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always comes back. I got the skills, lady. <laughs> You're gonna invest in them one day. I'm telling you. Maybe. 
Maybe Jimbo. Alright. Um, I'm not sure how the save points work in this game. Um, whether it's only after main quests or if we would have got one after talking to Jimbo then. So, um, I'm gonna, well, uh, before I end the episode, I'm just gonna complete this quest. And we'll deliver the package to a mailbox because I feel like that kid's about to commit suicide essentially, so his family should have his possessions, in my opinion. So uh, we'll head to the blue marker. Which is this way. And uh, yeah, I feel like that's the right thing to do. Even if it gets us into trouble. Now, I'm just because we're at the end of the episode, I'm just going to run straight there. We'll talk to all these extra NPCs at the start of the next episode because I'll need this to as a save point. And we'll, uh, we'll do all this at the start of the next one. Mail the package. I can't do it, Camus. I can't give away Gil's final possessions to settle his debts. Yeah. Will we get in trouble? Who cares, man? I don't care. Apartment upgrade unlocked. Okay, sweet. All right, guys. I will end that episode there. I hope you enjoyed this one. And um, you know, we got to know control a bit better. Um. Made some more deliveries. We helped helped the kid out, helped Gil out. Um, we learned a bit more about Cora. Oh, hey, Control. Hey, Rania. Um, are you there? Yeah. You don't sound good, Control. He's been on the sake. What? I'm fine. Uh, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? He's drunk. I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange. Like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point. Collect the package, 14FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? He's hung up. Always oh. questions from you. Just do your goddamn job. Control out. Okay. So yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. We'll pick it up next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like if you did. Just remember, everybody, never trust an uncrate. I'll see you back in Novalis.